Good morning, Cyber Traders. Happy Thursday, everybody, on this lovely June 20th. Only one more day till summer. Everybody all excited? I don't know about you, but kind of crappy here in New York. Good to see you. Good to see you, Mark. Good to see you, Donna, Chuck, Jeff, Daryl, John, Jim. Goals, great Cyber Traders. Good to see you, Vince, Terrell. Hope I didn't miss anybody. <laughs> all right, guys, so we did it again this morning. Um, just let's talk really quick regarding about the EDSA, uh, up 142%, not including the MLNT we're going to talk about again, because that was our big winner yesterday. But I just want to, we're going to get back and talk about the EDSA and uh, some of the good things out there. Just kind of show you, if you look here on the book, uh, on the level four, big, big support levels right here around 950. And uh, you could see some major resistance levels there around 11. And uh, you could see that's basically where we've kind of been hovering right there. It's all about having a game plan, which, by the way, regarding about class today, Josh is going to be covering exclusively how to go through and prepare yourself in trading in the market open. So look forward to being in class that day. Because, listen, this morning, if you just got in early this morning, and like I said in the chat room, early bird gets the money. And uh, you could see right here on 8 o'clock, the thing went from 7 all the way to 10. A lot of you guys did really, really well. I mean, I don't even know where to start, but let me see. Any, any good shout-outs out there? I got uh, – let me see what I have out there. I know I had a bunch of you guys made money this morning. Uh, Bill made $0.35 cents in, ES, uh, in EDSA. He did great. Give him a round of applause. I mean, you have to kill it, but did pretty well. Ken made 20 he was, he was Ken was already up $1,200 by 8.30. By 8.30, give him a round of applause. Beautiful. I mean, I can just go on and on. I'm just looking down the chat. There's just so many of you here that just did pretty well here. Calling the orders. Um, uh, Deb Fine, I think you did pretty well on it. You see, you did something here. I see some chat from you. Just a bunch of you guys just chatting away. And uh, just give yourself guys a round of applause. You guys did really well. And it's still early. It's still early. So, anyway, we'll come back to this. Let's just talk about one of the big, big winners yesterday. Uh, let's just start off talking about the the one that's moving again this morning. The, what is it? The MLNT trade. All right. So that one right there was probably our best trade yesterday. And, you know, if you just look at the run-up, let me just bring up a better time frame over here. Here's a 10-minute. This thing started at two, at 2 bucks, went all the way around 8.30. I mean, 9.30, ran all the way to 6. I mean, this thing was up about 200%. We cleaned up, and it ran all the way to almost eight bucks. You know, just a great, great, great mover. And sure enough, she's moving again. She's really moving again. Where well, you can see right here, she did a nice little morning pop at seven thirty. If you logged in at eight, you should have got in around seven. She ran to eight. Another nice little mover right there. That is basically uh, pro uh, a, bi a big, big winner as of yesterday and to today. And then also, you know, I, I I said it earlier. I know I you know. Me and Ken had this big thing about X. If some of you ever been here for on-site, you know, we, we, uh, there's some stocks we talk about, some stocks we don't. But anyway, X, uh, U.S. Steel did really well at the pop. That was another morning watch. This, the stock just really popped. Went from 1510 to 1560. Really, really easy mover um, in, the, in the market. Now, regarding about what's happening this morning, guys, there's a lot going on this morning. Okay, first of all, let's get back to the EDSA. It was just a matter of time. The thing just popped again. Now, when you look here at the long-term chart, let me fix this one-minute chart. It just made a big move right now from 10. Look at this thing. It's already at 11.20. I'm just going to show you over here. Big, big seller right here. Got executed. Monster seller at the $11 resistance. Guy got done, and look where it went. Ran it just ran another buck. Is there a seller out there right now? I'm seeing at 12 for about 9000 uh, shares looking to sell. We want to see him get done. That guy gets done. The thing's going to go off to the races. Um, actually, he just filled in an order. He just put. He just uploaded 16. It's probably going to stop here. You can see it's kind of hovering right there. Look at that. Now it's at 89. Yeah, I don't see any other sellers. That's pr pretty much the biggest seller out there um, at 12 bucks. Anyway, we know it's a whole number. Anyway, that stock did really well. And if you go back over here, look in the history, you guys know we traded the stock before. Went from 8 to 16. And uh, not too long ago, when it went from 6 all the way to 16, we know the stock does move. So just be very, very careful. Looks like it's coming to that 12. And I'm just looking over here on that guy at 9,000. Looks like he got executed for some shares. 
You can see her in the time and sales right here, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. Might look like it might be breaking out again. All right, another couple of, another big, big winner yesterday, and I forgot to mention because she did move again this morning. What the hell is going on with this K-E-R-N? Holy cow, $15 stock, went all the way to 49 hit almost $70, okay? Now, let me just tell you this. You can only trade, you know, very, very small shares of the stock, very, very big spread. By the way, that seller just got done um, on EDSA. So you can just see it just kind of broke out, went to 12-12, uh, all right? Got to follow the money, guys. That's what I've been teaching for years. So Ken, obviously, is another uh, K-E-R-N, also has a warrant, K-E-R-N-W, which I'm not going to explain what the hell a warrant is, but here there is a warrant on that stock, so that stock also did pretty well there too. Uh, we got the M. We, we spoke about the MLNT. A couple other uh, sleepers out there. Just keep an eye on the TIGR. That one I thought was pretty interesting, being a stock that was up so big. It's up three percent. I don't know. I, I saw a little, some volatility here. Maybe I'm going to scratch that one out. I thought it looked pretty good this morning. Probably going to back out it. DRD. What the hell's going on with gold? Gold is like everywhere. Gold is just literally on fire. If it's JNUD, if it's, I mean, all these stocks are moving from yesterday to today. So, Grant Brockway, you're a gold man. I know you've been a bit a big fan. You're trying to stay away from them. But all of a sudden, I don't know, the day you stay away, the day to start on a trade, what's going on? Got to keep an eye on. Let us know what's going on with gold over there. But here's another one. DRD made a nice little move. Uh, DGLY, did that move again? I, I looked at it early this morning. Now she backed right off. Okay, she's gone. Uh, there was another one, CCL, which is, I believe, another gold stock. No, no I'm sorry, that's Carnival Cruises. I got the wrong one. Why is my computer locked up? Uh, I don't know. Ah, what happened here? Uh, ugh. All right, let me bring up this one. CCL, let me bring up another platform. That one, some of you guys did really well on CCL. That one was a great short. Keep an eye on CCL and the IJIAG is that other one that some of you guys said that was uh, somewhat of a China looking to buy it out or something like that. I don't know. One, that's one of you were saying. So I, IAG looks pretty good also. Put that on your watch list. But um, looks like it just backed off that big seller uh, on that. That's let me tell you the EDSA. You got to be probably probably be a four trader. I was actually getting in and out of it, uh, scalping it. Was doing pretty well. Now, on a couple of swing trades, guys, Chewy made a little bit of a comeback. Um, I did a swing trade on that one, and I still hold the Uber Uber right now. We got to get past that resistance levels of 45.25, but it looks like it's building a little bit of a Fausto flag, so that one's looking pretty good. Market is pretty hot, guys. Market's doing really well. PCG also, don't forget that one. Remember, that was the far, uh, company got the blame for the forest fires. Uh, in California, and they got out of it, and uh, that's another one that's been creeping up. But a lot of stocks been doing really, really well. Markets doing well, breaking new highs. Dow Jones looking phenomenal. Economy is looking phenomenal. We could break. You know, it looks like we're getting close to the ultimate highs, which would be amazing if that happens. You know, fasten your seatbelts. You guys are probably really happy on some of your swing trades also. But scalping and and day trading has been phenomenal. Um, have to scalp EDSA to keep talking prop taking profits. Yes, Ken. Absolutely. And you know what, Ken, I lost on ED, I, I lost money on EDSA. Um, uh, and I got, and I thank God I did because I would have got, I would have got a little crushed on it. And then I reverse course, I scalped on it and I was just making money buying on the bid, selling the offer. Cause there's such a big spread on there. You get filled on it, get, take your order, sell it. Boom. You could do that all day long. If the stock pops, you get lucky, but that was a really fun stock to scalp. All right. All right, guys, you got the watch list. You see what's going on. You see what's moving. Let's go out there and uh, let's keep an eye on this EDSA. When something like this goes into the open this strong, that's a really, really good sign. All right, guys. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading. Let's make some money. And, and don't forget, everybody, um, classes are going to be starting today. And don't forget to, uh, to go back and uh, get ready for them. All right, guys. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading.